Cheers, guys. Good morning. We are back in Miami. The last videos you guys saw were from Africa. We went all the way down to Zimbabwe. If you guys have not seen those videos, pretty cool stuff. But like I said, we're back home. Humberto, you got a bunch of stuff on your show here. Where have you been? Have you been digging tunnels and trenches? You are doing so good. Guys, we have a lot of things to update you on now that we are back home. A lot has changed. I've actually been home for about two or three weeks. I was sick when I got back from Africa. We just have a lot to talk about here. All of the chicken girls and Mr. Duck are doing well. And if we move to the other side of the yard, we have a big surprise. Currently, there are no bees inside. There is a dead lizard. Who knows how he got in there. And. Uh, the bees that we did put in here in that video sadly swarmed and left and went up into the tree for me to see them but not be able to collect their honey. So my friend who's actually doing some yard work where the boat is works with bees and sells honey and he said that he could bring me a colony with a really good queen that makes high quality honey and we are hoping for that. So if you guys want to learn about the beehive and you want to see how it gets set up, it's definitely going to be here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. But again, a lot of you guys have been asking what has happened with this beautiful coyote. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh my goodness, is that Mr. Mavericks? Let him out. He's, he's so patiently waiting. He's like, gonna, gonna come out. Oh yeah, right up here. Oh my goodness. If you guys haven't met him before, this is Mr. Maverick. Would you like some coffee? He says, no, coffee's not for me. I like water and treats and uh, yeah, kibble. Kibble's good too, yeah, mm-hmm. Can you lay just down here? Lay down like this? Oh, we're gonna lay, we're gonna lay on top of me, I guess. This is the spot to be. Where, where are we going? He's gonna go over there, but if you guys have not seen the original Coyote video, then I am going to roll some little clips of that right now. Poor little guy. Still laying here the same way we left him. I don't know how much he can actually move, so we'll have to see if he actually tries to charge us, but we'll have to see what he wants. If you guys had not seen that video, I wanted to inform you kind of what happened. You can go back and watch that video in the full length version to see more of what happened. But basically, we found this poor coyote in the middle of the night on the side of the road. He'd just been hit by a car. I was actually going really fast and had to turn around just to see what was going on, assess the situation, got a bunch of supplies, ended up putting him in the truck and getting him to a wildlife rehabber. Now, since then, I haven't really been connected with the wildlife rehabber because I've been out of town in Africa. We had no service over there. And then it was the holiday season with Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. So I really didn't want to be bothering him. But today we have asked him for an update on the animal. And I'm actually going to be finding out just what happened to this coyote as you guys are finding out. So we're waiting for him to reply back with a message or phone call. But while we wait, let's see some of of the other things that have changed around here. Umberto, you made it all the way here by the iguana cages. You guys might have seen the iguana cages being all beautiful and lush, but they ate all of the hibiscus. They have crushed all of the pathos plants and the iguanas actually aren't in either of these enclosures right now. They're in the garage staying warm. It's the winter time. It's a little bit cooler, especially at night here in South Florida. So it's better for the iguanas if they have the opportunity to be in a warmer environment to just move them inside because being cold blooded reptiles, they cannot regulate their heat as we can. So bringing them inside, that's where they are for now. Maverick is all happy. Maverick, do you have a palm front? He says, oh, hi, Mr. Tortoise. And this is an update you guys have really been waiting for. All of the baby chameleons, the little baby panther chameleons, are getting so big. This one is probably the boy that I'm gonna keep. My friend did catch all the babies, so I'm gonna give them back to him now that they're more well started and have a good amount of chub going to them. They have a lot of crickets in their bellies, but this guy is probably the one that I'm going to keep for myself and you guys will be able to watch him grow on the channel. He's getting a lot of blues up around his face. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, a little bit of like an orangish red color, especially on this side here. 
Hopefully this guy turns fully blue as he gets larger and gets those colors in as he matures. But right now, he's a little bit darker. He's just getting the sunlight this morning. So if he turns to a darker shade, it helps him to absorb that light and warm up his body temperature. But we've got to come up with a name for this little guy. So comment down below some name suggestions. I'll put it in the next video. Maverick thinks that I have his breakfast ready for him, which is why he's sitting so nicely can you shake nice to meet you nice to meet you sir but this isn't actually your food if you guys can see we have some fish food some shark food to be shark exact bait. we have Patrick star here who you guys haven't seen before he's this alien octopus looking thing that usually hides in the rock but right now oh Sean's getting a phone call but right now Clark the shark is in the rock we're about to feed him and we also got mrs. puff the puffer fish and uh, she is coming out on that side. Let's see if these fish want to eat. We're gonna put a little bit of this in here just to get the scent going. The shark should be coming out here soon. Oh, Clark the shark is coming out. He's smelling all about. Let's see, do you wanna eat? Oh, 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 he wants to eat from the top. This fish had eggs in it. Look at all the little eggs. Here he's coming up. He's going by, oh, oh, oh. He just got a big chunk of the silver side. The puffer fish also eats some of these silver side chunks. So let's see if she wants to eat. We have a different approach now. We have the tweezers to reach down in here. He's still looking around. I'm gonna try to bring him over to you guys. There he goes, he's coming out. Clamped onto it. Look at that. That is the look of a happy shark. So, oh my goodness, we are about to make Maverick's breakfast and we are getting a call from the wildlife rehabber. So let's see what is happening. So we just got the call and we've got our news about the coyote, although it's not the best news, guys. I was really hoping to hear from him and see how this coyote was doing, but sadly, the coyote did have to be put down and it was for the better. This coyote had so much damage to its hips that there really was no helping it. And once the coyote got a little bit better after it was starting to get the treatment from the wildlife rehabber, the coyote ended up becoming very aggressive. By nature, that's just kind of how they are. And as they were trying to treat the coyote more, he was just getting too aggressive with them and wouldn't let them treat it. They did more work on him and realized that they weren't seeing any progress after a couple months went by. And well, they sadly had to put the animal down because it was in so much pain and stress and that was really for the better of the animal. I'm thankful for all of the support you guys have shown with the channel. I think a lot of new people have come to the channel because of that video. So you guys are going to get to see all sorts of other content from that. Sadly, not the outcome we wanted as I said, but guys, I wanted to close up this. A lot of you guys have had this animal in your thoughts and prayers, so I wanted to let you know what happened with the situation. But I hope you enjoyed this video updating you on the different stuff that has happened and the different things that are going on as we've returned from Africa. If you haven't seen those Africa videos, please check them out. They're very, very cool. And I think we'll be going on another trip soon. But that is all for today's video. Subscribe and check out more videos on the channel. Like this video and hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified when the next adventure releases. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.